to restate what the Supreme Court had earlier held in the case of Attorney General of the Federation versus Abubakar. I mean, that is the law. The Constitution of Nigeria has not provided that if a governor defects from uh, the party that sponsored him into office to another party, he thereby loses his office. It is mere rascality that would make anyone think that that will, uh, it represents the position. You cannot go outside the constitution of Nigeria to begin to read into it what does not exist there. So I'm not surprised that the Court of Appeal is in agreement with what the Supreme Court had earlier ruled because the principle of stare decisis is to the effect that you have to follow an earlier judgment. Anybody who is doing anything beyond following the earlier judgment with all due respect, he's not doing the right thing. So we appreciate the Court of Appeal for restating the law. Because it was not only in the case of um, Atoji of the Federation uh, versus Abubakar where that uh, statement was made. Yes, it was first made there. But then in even the case of Abegunde versus uh, uh, Ondo State House of Assembly, the Supreme Court still restated that fact. It made references to the case of Atoji of the Federation of Sapopaka. So, why does anybody begin to begin, uh, read some other things into the Constitution that are not there? That is like asking that the uh, government of a state be overthrown, otherwise than in accordance with the Constitution. You see, the judgment of the Federal High Court is also on appeal. But I cannot fail to tell you that the judgment of this court today will have effect on that judgment and on the appeal. Because that judgment, uh, the court of appeal mm, is one and it has to respect the judgment delivered today. And impliedly, impliedly, the judgment of the Federal High Court has been overruled. And uh, we've all heard it all. It's issued about the effect of the of His Excellency, the, the Governor of Ebony State, Chief Engineer Chief uh, David Mwens Omar. Sonny Obuaj, the, the first appellant, Bamogodo and PC are contesting the defection, that there's need for the court to order his removal from the office, having defected and abandoned the party for which he won the election. That is the summary of uh, the purpose of the, the suit at the, at the High Court and the appeal. And uh, today, the Court of Appeal had uh, delivered his judgment and uh, to us, we we'll get a copy of it and study it carefully and meet with our client and know the next step to take. To me, there is no contradiction. It is the court that saw and believed that there is contradiction that made that decision. To me, it is the findings of the court that there are contradictions. But to me and to the, to the appellants, there is no contradiction. So we look and study the judgment carefully and not the next action to take. We are always optimistic. Until we study the judgment, we know the right thing to do. Let me mentioned that I'm most enthused 
that again the Court of Appeal sitting in Enugu has demonstrated its capacity and ability and will to protect the rule of law, the separation of powers, and ensure that the decision of the Supreme Court is upheld at all times. I listened to the issues canvassed and the subjects of decision by the Justice of the Court of Appeal. And I saw a unanimous decision by the justices of the court, which was heavily read by the lead uh, justice. And uh, the contents says nothing than the fact that defection to another political party has no legal consequence under the constitution or under any extant law, even under any judicial precedent as uh, contained in the case of um, AG Federation and Atiku Abubakar. For us, the governor of Ebony State has again been vindicated. So for us, this is a victory for democracy, it's a victory for the rule of law, it's a victory for the principles of separation of powers, and also for the principle of constitutionalism, which he rightly uh, mentioned in the course of reading the judgment. So we thank God, we thank the people of Ebony State for standing firm with our governor in this uh, period of destruction. It is clear from the decision of uh, the Justice of the Court of Appeal that the Constitution does not contemplate that. And what is not contemplated does not even uh, exist at all in the eyes and the ears and the minds of the Constitution.